Oh, hey, what's up? It's, uh, it's me again. Um, and in this video, we're going to talk about uh, a few different devices here, and that is our flight controls. So something that we haven't really talked too much about is the flight controls on this particular flight sim. Um, but from Virtual Fly, Virtual Fly is a company that I believe they're out of the Netherlands, um, but they make some good flight simulator components. One of them is the Yoko Plus. They have a Yoko non-plus version um, and the Yoko Plus. Uh, so depending on how many features and benefits and fun stuff and gadgets and gizmos that you want on your control, um, you can get the plussed up version like this and have more stuff. Um, I'll come back to this in just a second. They also have the Vernio Plus here, which is your TPM unit. And uh, the Plus unit allows you to um, push, it, it gives you the push button and the fine tuning ability here. It also has a friction lock for your throttle. I don't know if they ever had one for uh, for this, but I don't think they do. And then but you can push those buttons to lock that down. So that's what your plus version is going to give you. And it's also giving you very, very real life to real to life feel and size of the uh, throttle, the props and the mixture buttons here. I really love this um, and how that feels. So um, we'll come, like I said, we'll come back to this. There's not really all that much more to say about too much of the stuff, except for I like it and it works really well. And uh, that's what you're getting. So come on down here. Um, we actually have the Ruddo. This was one of the last things that we added to this because I just didn't use the Ruddo or any type of rudder pedals. Um, but I was like, well, I'm putting together the Yoko Plus, the Vernio Plus. Let's get the Ruddo Plus and see what that does for us, right? So um, these are going to come uh, very, they're very tight, but they're made of solid, like, I don't even know, like some tungsten metal. They are solid. They're not going to break. They're not made of plastic, guys. Let me sit down here um, and just kind of give you guys what's, what's going on. So this one's going to be the most complex of all things. Um, Virtual Fly made these uh, stiff but really good. They have their own software package um, that allow you to basically calibrate this machine through, the, through their software so that when you break, you actually get braking that is matched. Um, if you just use this through uh, Laminar Research or Microsoft Flight Simulator and you just match it up, you might, when you're hitting the brakes, it might want to veer to the left or the right. You might not get that equal braking pressure. So um, if you use their software, which unfortunately I haven't played around with it at this point, but um, it is going to give you that equal braking um, that is going to be really helpful. Now, one thing I will note about this setup here, you see that there's kind of a box deal going on back here. I took some two by fours, some scrap two by fours, cut them up so that um, what I found was that this unit, when you're pushing on these with your brakes or with your feet, that it's gonna push right into the wall. You don't want that. So I had to set that up back there so that when I'm hitting the brakes, I didn't push it all the way back. It just likes to slide. And I didn't want to mount this plate directly down to the floor because what if I want to move it plus you know what would <laughs> what would my wife say if I stuck lag bolts in the floor right so um, I mean geez all right so there's that um, but then I knew then I had another problem and that was that when I hit the toe brakes on here not just the rudder part just this is two part you got your rudders here but then the toe brakes up at the top um, so you can actually hit the top there and when you hit the toe brakes what happened is that this part actually flips right up on, on the bottom. That was also not mm -hmm. great. So I took another piece of scrap two by four, probably the same one that those came from. And um, I, thankfully I had this up on the uh, these caster wheels and I was able to slide the two by four in here. And also thankfully it just happened to fit right over the front lip of the Ruddo Plus here. So all things set up now, I can, I can go for a flight and this thing stays in place. Now you might have to rig, depending on how your setup is, you might need to rig it up differently. I might recommend having that set up on some kind of like a, what do I want to call it? Like an aviation cockpit setup where you can mount this to it. You get the, the chair. I'll, I'm sitting here in a desk chair doing this. And that's another thing is this thing's pretty stiff. When I'm playing, when I'm sitting here in a desk chair with casters on it, it just wants to wheel back when I hit the brake. So I actually have to brace myself. So. All right, so that's that. Um, I, I, all, all of that said, I really love this. This thing works really good. I did have, I'm not gonna get into who it was um, or how they worked um, because this is a review of Virtual Fly's uh, Ruddo series, the Yoko and the Vernio, but I did try another set of 
pedals prior to this and it dis kept disconnecting. I had issues and I didn't like the way that the pedals felt. Um, and I had the same issues where it was sliding. So um, I got this and I was like, you know what? I really love this. This is great. So um, let's look at the Yoko. Let's come back to this real quick. Um, I had the LG um, SciTech yoke prior to this and it actually worked really good. It's a, uh, it's probably more of a budget friendly version. Um, but it, I could never get it to trim out. I could never get it to stay straight in the air. Um, this fixed all that. Um, it also has trim. Um, so you got your left and right trim here. And then you'll also, if you come over here, um, you've got uh, trim up and down. Um, now I've actually changed these out. So if I hit this, um, it actually changes the monitor view um, so that I'm looking forward. And then if you look down here, um, the aileron or the, yeah, this is aileron trim right here. That just looks left and right. So these are remappable as well. Now there's buttons on the back. If you look behind here, um, these can be used as push to talk buttons here, um, or you can use them. This one over here on the right side is meant to be an AP or your autopilot disengage, which actually would be really handy. So that you, if you need to quickly disengage your autopilot, you can. So that's what that's great for. Um, this thing is pretty stiff. Uh, it's definitely, if you've ever flown in the Cessna, the controls are pretty loosey-goosey comparatively speaking. Um, this is going to be more for probably your TBM or Piper or, uh, you know, probably a heavier, uh, stiffer aircraft. So all that said, um, I really like this. This has been just an absolutely amazing addition to this. A little on the pricier side. <laughs> Uh, more so than I would have wished, but if you can get a good deal on one, um, definitely see what you can do. I got all three of these through the same guy that did my panel. That's John from Stay Level Avionics, so go check uh, with him. He should be able to, he might, I'm not going to say John will be able to, but um, he might be able to get you a deal um, because he has an authorized virtual fly, a stateside virtual fly authorized retailer, so um, he could get these and be able to send those out to you. And, um, and whatnot. So other than that, go check out those sites. I'm not an affiliate. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, shape, form, or another. But uh, do your own research. Go out there and check this stuff out. Um, I've enjoyed this. It's given me a, a very professional feel that I've been very happy with. And uh, I love it. So I think you guys will as, as well. If you guys have enjoyed this kind of content, you guys like these reviews, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.